Hey guys, so I figured I'd do a mid -walk, midway walkthrough, um, just because I have got a bit done and I want to show you, like, I, I did start the videos off with, as we were spraying the chemicals, and now I've done a little bit of cleaning, still got a bit more, but I'm going to show you where we're at. Alright, let's go down in this thing. I was pulling off a little bit of the junk wood, so you see a little bit down there. It's going to be a pain in the butt, I just wanted to see how hard it was. Um... But if you see, a lot of the stains are pretty much gone. Um, like this stuff up here, that's all wood that's gonna come down anyways. It's all gonna be basically down to here. This is all fire plus. I gotta re-pull off. I'm, I'm working on pulling that off so I can seal that wood that's really thick. It's still, it's not rotten. It just needs to be coated better. Uh, so I'm gonna take all that off. Um, as you can see, I mean, this is all, this, all this wood, wood is rotten. And uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this cage. It's got too much rust on it. I don't want gem on it. Um, so we're going to get rid of that. Pulling out all the rest of this stuff. I'm working on junking it. Um, I still got to pull out all these cabinet doors. I'm going to pull off all the cabinet doors. Wash them. Sand them down. And then they're gonna, these are all going to be painted. All this has got to still... See this right here is all fiberglass. This, so we got to take off the rest of this, and then I'm gonna put PVC up. I really don't really need anything. This isn't structural. This, is, the wood is just for you know, painting it and making it look better. None of that's structural. So I mean, like I said, we still got a whole lot of work to do. But um, a lot of the mold, you can already tell like the difference in the mold. We'll go back in here. I was going to make this in a Gemma's cage area, but then I decided not to because that'd be a really horrible idea with the electrical box right there. Last thing I need her to go is in here and do that. So what I'm thinking, so this is my going to be my room. It's actually the biggest area. Um, and of course, back there is the nasty old bathroom in there. It's got the tub and all that, which is going to be cleaned. Um, you can see where I must have missed some here. That, that's the difference. This got sprayed. I didn't get over here in the corner very good, I guess. But uh, that can be killed still um, down there. But I'm thinking about building it right here, her cage, to come out in here and take up this whole area right here. So she can have a built in. Once I get this all, of course, I gotta get all this bad wood out, back to all fiberglass. Then I'm gonna build a stainless steel cage from here to up here. And it's gonna cover this whole seating area because I really don't need a seating area. I'd rather have her have a play area. But I've got to keep it with access so I can still get into stuff like my steering for my for, for my rudder and all that. So uh, this room needs a whole lot of work, um, but it, it's definitely got a whole lot of potential. They had carpet up here before, I guess, which is horrible. I don't know why anybody in their right mind would use carpet on anything on a boat. It's just a bad idea. I haven't really showed in here very much. Uh, but that toilet actually comes, I don't like that, but the toilet comes down and uh, you sit on it that way. I probably see other toilet, honestly. Um, it does have a shower and a, uh, it's not very roomy though. I'm six foot two, so it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. I'm almost thinking about taking that out and just putting a stand up area on it, you know, just because I don't need a bathtub. I need a shower I can stand up in. All that's gotta be, that countertop's gotta be removed. All that wood in there is gotta be gone. It's like I said, it's just removing all this bad wood, replacing it, doing the electrical, and then working on everything else after uh, at the same time. So, I mean, it, looks, it is a lot, but it's really not. The hull is structurally sound. This is, uh, is going to be nice in the winters. So, uh, here's the hatch. Well, the, the entry companion way. They cut this out. I don't understand why, but... We gotta replace that. They did. The, I'm not sure if there's access points here or if they just cut these out. But I gotta fix those because mosquitoes get in. A lot of these cabinet doors, some of them are off already and all that. They're actually perfectly fine. They just gotta be recoded. I did take. There was that nasty old uh, mattress in here. I did take that out of this room. This room's really not that bad. It's mostly sanding it and painting it and. Uh, Fix it, removing some of the wood up there. 
This also, like I said, has a tiny little, uh, tiny little shower in here. But that'd be good for like, a, I don't know, like a somebody that's not six foot two. Um, I can't really stand up perfectly in this room, anyways. But this will be pretty nice when it's done. Let's get a little bit more cleaning. You got the closet in here. I stored some stuff back here right now. This is the bee berth, which is still pretty decent size. It'd be comfortable for somebody. It's still got cabinets underneath. It's got cabinets above. You got cabinets underneath. Underneath is storage. You still got a big old closet here. And uh, you have this other bath in here, which has got the pump head and which I like those way better. And then it still has, it has a drain floor, which is nice. So you can, I can help a shower up in here too. All the, it's basically just like a wallpaper type substance on this, on these. So I can take these all off and re just coat that with something better. Um, so that's another thing I've got to do. But uh, we got to work on that and then still got to put the flooring back in on here. I have it, but I got to clean this whole area up. There's all kinds of crap down there. And uh, still got to scrub the decks on top. But is the birdie up there still? I can't really tell. The sun's glaring. But it's, it's definitely getting there. It's a step in progress, but uh, jump down here. There's a few more things I'll show you. Of course, somebody's got a call, and I don't know. I, should, I hate that it vibrates. I can't get it to work. It just makes silent noise. Spam risk, anyway, so I'm going to answer it. It's just quite annoying. But this is some more of the outside. I do like that it's got a decent size uh, with a, you know, yeah. It's got a lot of room in it, so, and it's very wide. The beam, there we go. That's the word. So, like I said, it still needs, I gotta get, find the, I'm pretty sure the other guy's not gonna give me back the stuff that belonged to this boat like he said he was. But I gotta get a prop, the shaft, and all that. There's a bolt missing out of here I gotta replace. Before she goes back in the water, too, I gotta... I need to, um... Do a fresh bottom paint so it still kills stuff and whatnot. I guess the, that the sitting out of water doesn't... Um, I was told to do that first, but that would make no sense if it doesn't, um... If it can't be out of the water for more than a month, and then it starts... The, the killing... The stuff that grows on the bottom just goes away, and then what's the point? I'll do that very dead last. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a quick quick update video. I want to show you in between where I'm at. Got a whole lot more cleaning to do before we start staying on there. Like I said, I'm going to take that cage off and uh, whatnot. But she's going to get there. A lot to do. I still got it. The only thing left on the outside to scrub left is I have this one corner. But I don't I didn't want to do this the other day when I was doing it because Gemma was... So that's Gemma's little area underneath here. She sits right there. And she would have got soaked and I don't want that mold on her. And now she's taking a nap in the truck. But it's uh, at least pretty nice out. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. I did update my cash app. So if anybody wants to support us, um, they they can. It's it's a, the cash symbol sailing with Gemma. Like I said, it's not needed, but it does help. So anybody who wants to do that, or they can also donate to our GoFundMe, which is linked to our page on Facebook at Sailing with Gemma, of course, because you're, you know that because you're watching it here. All right, thanks, guys, and have a great day.